Well, I made mention of it last week. Uh, I didn't expect there to be such flat, flatulent background music, but here we are. This is Trivial Pursuit Unhinged, and uh, the options here may seem quite similar, and I think that's probably because uh, the Artec game we looked at last week is probably based on a similar engine. Just a hunch, but uh, yes, this came out in 2004 for Xbox, PS2, and PC. Developed by Artec Studios, published by Atari, and it's one of those weird PS2 games that you pick up. And I guess this was quite common in the mid era of the PS2, where it has that little swirly blue logo with the with Netplay banner on the top. Because this actually you can play this online. Not that we're going to do that. We're going to play on our own. Uh, okay, so we can't play Unhinged, which is unfortunate because the Unhinged mode, I think, is the reason you'd want to play this, because that's got a, oh, it's a sort of a, a separate kind of gameplay section where you're betting on your opponent's uh, ability to answer questions, and it gives you kind of power-ups. So that's a shame. Answer input, shout out, or multiple choice? Let's get multiple choice. Uh, okay, let's add one. Yeah, this looks very familiar. Let's use a guest one. Oh, this might be quite a disappointing one then, because I can't actually see the, <laughs> the selling point of this entire game. Although it doesn't really tell you that on the back of the box. Which is unfortunate. It's one to six players. Uh, it supports multi-tap. Obviously, it would need to for six players. And, yeah, network supports two to six players. So. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I didn't leave this for last week. I mean, the main reason I'm looking at this is that I... There's something special uh, lined up for episode 350. So, <laughs> I needed to get 348 out of the way. Congratulations, Trivial Pursuit Unhinged. Trivial Pursuit. You are episode 348. Same rules as the board game. Help using the controller is available at any time simply by pressing L2. Players Ooh. roll the die using the X button. They then pick from the board spaces available by moving the indicator from choice to choice using the directional button. The desired move is selected using the X button. Questions are displayed, read, and a choice of four answers is presented. The directional button moves the indicator and the X button makes the selection. The host will guide you through all other game activities. Remember, you can get help with the controls at any time by pressing L2. The questions, the wedges, the around the board. You know what to do. It's Trivial Pursuit Classic. Oh, that music sounded good. Started, Blue. Sounded like some proper 80s quiz show. You five. five. Six spaces to choose from. Up to you. Uh, that's that's film. For arts and entertainment. For arts and entertainment. It's probably where my knowledge generally is. What, what two is oh, that's essential, essential for Beavis? To enjoy a movie. Oh God. Uh, get, yeah. You roll again. Let's go. So I'm just playing by myself again. It's a two. What's it going to be? So for arts and entertainment, who received his third consecutive Oscar nomination for a beautiful, a beautiful mind? I don't even know who's in that. Russell Crowe? Daniel Day-Lewis. Sorry. Oh, it was Russell Crowe. Damn it. You roll again. Let's go. You got a five. Which direction will it be? Uh, what's the orange one? For wild card. Oh. What was the name of Roland Rat's gerbil friend? 
Leonard? Uh -oh. Or Cedric? Or Kevin? Good. Let's keep it going. Roll again. Looks like a three to me. Pick either one. Let's go that way. For the wedge. For science and nature. What did James Dewar invent? Uh... You're looking at a brand new brown oh. wedge. Up to you again. So is this going to be it? Is it just going to be me okay, five. <laughs> filling out the wedges until Design. we're done? Which space will it be? Let's put the one farthest away. Another try. Another try? There was nobody else playing, so it doesn't matter. Three choices. What'll it be? For wild card. Who stole three thousand five hundred dollars worth of clothes? Yes. I thought the guy. And sentenced to four hundred and eighty hours community service. There's a West Country lilt to the <laughs> the guy asking the questions that I'm enjoying. And three, three choices. What'll it be? Let's go for the yellow one. For history. Oh bollocks. Who did the Spice Girls hail as the pioneer of our ideology, girl power? Girl power. Oh Jesus. Uh oh. Oh no. That's a one. You have a couple of choices here. I do. Let's go to the Eiffel Tower. For people and places. The um the presentation on this is slick, but I wish it was a little bit quicker. What collective name is given to a group of US universities including Yale? Oh, and I'll know it when I see it. Ivy League. You got it. it. The eight members of the Ivy League are Harvard, no, Yale, we don't. Pennsylvania, Princeton, Brown, Columbia, Cornell, and Dartmouth. Keep it going. You're all alone here. Yeah, no shit. One. Where are you going? Oh my god. For science and nature. Which is Britain's commonest meadow plant with trifoliate leaves? Uh trifoliate will be three. Nice Clover then. Okay, that wasn't as difficult as I thought it was. Keep Just it got bamboozled by trifoliate. Which I really four. shouldn't have done, because tri is Where three and foliage. Oh god, it's sports. Wedge time. Sports and leisure. Oh, and leisure. I'm, I'm alright at leisure. <laughs> I can sit on the sofa with the best of them. Which fictional soccer club has one-legged Wally Foot as its goalkeeper? No idea! The green wedge. Excellent. Yeah, the green wedge looks a lot more attractive than the brown one. You got a five. Three choices. What'll it be? Roll again. And you've got five. At least they recorded multiple different versions of that. For wild card. What did a 1998 survey claim 47% of vegetarians regularly eat? Meat. Nicely done. <laughs> it's got to be meat, hasn't it? The smell of bacon frying was said to be the most difficult thing for vegetarians to resist. 
I mean, if you regularly eat meat, are you really a vegetarian? <laughs> that seems like... One. Pick either one. I'll pick the one where I don't have to answer a question, thank you. Roll again. One. Damn it. Decide. Which space will it be? Is this really better than the the actual board game? People and places. Which city claims to have invented probably the best lager in the world? Uh, pass. Yes. The Carlsberg slogan is probably the best known in Britain. Ha <laughs> ho! Let's see what you roll. Yeah, so I have a couple of a couple of fundamental issues with this. A, the, the single player experience is appalling. Um, the multiplayer experience locally would not be better than playing the board game. Where are you going? Where I could see the argument actually working is the multiplayer experience with people outside of For wild card. your house. What was the favourite food Pizza. of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? The questions aren't even that difficult. I was expecting to be embarrassed here. Um, the name so on the Xbox... In the UK to Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Yes, because we're scared of ninjas here. Um, again, the board's yours. Yeah, I can see on Xbox this working. I can see on PC this working because those two, two. platforms are more naturally yeah, akin yeah. to online play. But the PS2... They tried to push it, and they, you know, they had their little broadband adapter or whatever. But I don't know anybody who ever really got their PS2 online. I'm fairly technical, and I never really got my PS2 online. Um, so I'm a little bit baffled by this PS2 version. I guess for feature parity, it's good that they actually did it. Where might you expect to find Benthos? Uh. You got it. Sure. Benthic organisms are tiny fauna or flora found at the bottom of the sea or lakes. Let's keep it going. Roll again. Five. What's it going to be? Ah, oh, let's do another purple question. This would literally take me hours to finish. I've only got two wedges so far. Arts and entertainment. What did romantic writer Danielle Steele reportedly pay her butler a bonus to do? Oh, I've got no idea. I mean, that sounds ridiculous, so... Gotta be that one, right? He earned $400 for bathing the pampered pet porker in head and shoulders. Let's keep it going. Roll again. That's one. Can you I get to a wedge? Choices here. No, okay. Right. Let's uh can we get to that other mode, maybe? Oh good, you're saving the game. That's good. I can come back to it then. Returning you to the main menu, please wait. What a polite menu screen. Also, they're using the load like the loading text looks like the font from Grand Theft Auto 3, which is funny. Oh, I can do a flash game. Cool. Let's see what this is all about. Since we can't really do much with that other mode, maybe this will make more sense. I mean, fair play to them for adding a couple of extra modes because that helps to give it value. Look, it's the same font again, but just in a blue teal kind of gradient. The flash mode is played on a board that has six levels, each with a choice of two different question categories. Oh my god. Up to six players take turns selecting a category. Look at those rendered CG questions. graphics. A correct answer moves the token up a level. The first player to the top wins. Help is available at all times using L2. Flash mode. Let's get going. Let's do it. Blue. Two choices. History or people and places. 
In which country is Mount Ararat, the location Noah biblically beached his boat? Ah, oh, the answer is incorrect. You're going to stay right where you are for now. History or people and places. Yeah, this is pointless. Who was pictured in tabloids with a breast exposing Sophie, future Countess of Wessex, Rhys Jones? Close. <laughs> but stay where you are for at least one more time. Just thought it'd be funny. Chris Tarrant? History or people and places. What was the name of the guide dog David Blunkett replaced with Sadie in 2003? I do know that. Also, why is that history? It's 2003. This game came out a year later. Arts and entertainment, obviously. Which movie about a badly burned pilot won the 1996 Best Movie Oscar? You're headed in the right direction. People and places, or sports and leisure. That music is really quite bad. Which European country spends the most per capita on holidays? Up another level. Arts and entertainment, or wild card. Which island did Bergerac pound his beat around? Why me? Well done. Wild card or science and nature. How many questions would I answer? What does Charlie Babbitt import from Italy in Rain Man? You'll be staying on level five one more time, I'm afraid. Oh no. Wild I've never seen Rain Man. Or science and nature. What is stuffed into a steak if an Aussie calls it a carpet bag? You're getting up in the world. I think I've heard of that before. Sports and leisure. Sounds horrific, though. What became Consigli <laughs> in 2001? Oh. <laughs> uh, That'll give you six points. Not for long. What a terrible, terrible thing that was. Another round over. Want to play again or return to the main menu to play classic or unhinged? Wow. Okay. This is um, a total waste of time on your own. They really should have marketed this just as a multiplayer game, which I guess they did with uh, the net play. But also it says features hundreds of multimedia clips. I didn't see any of them, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So, yeah, I mean... It, it seems a little rough, but the production values could be worse. But it just doesn't work as a single-player game at all. So, yep, that's um, that's another Artec quiz game, video game. That's a difficult phrase to say. Uh, we'll look at something entirely different later in the week. Trust me.